working on a commission or any large painting, I set myself up with plenty of studies and other paintings I'm working on. I always have a sketch of some type, usually going to use pen and ink, and I always do a small study the exact same proportion as my large commission piece. And like I said, other pieces sitting around to help inspire me. On this commission piece, I never filmed the canyon being painted, so I don't have that in this video, but I do have the rest. That is a 14 by 54 canvas. And I'm going to jump in and start building the rock formations. And I start pretty loose, abstract marks coming in with the smaller brushes. And just try to create a loose but strong drawing of rock structures. It's a lot of push and pull. I may come back and forth with darks and lights, putting some of the greenery and bushes and trees along the edge. Then I'm going to start working on the cloud. And this is my air mixture that I start building the shadow parts of these clouds. And I have some warm mixtures, some pink tones that I bring into there as well, using a little bit of Gamsol as I build these shapes out. It's a long span of clouds, 54 inches across. So I've got a little bit of real estate to cover. trying to create some variety and then I do take my paper towel and I come back up and I wipe out a little sculpting it creating some form and you can see the start of it there and I just keep going I want to get that whole cloud formation up into the sky as much painted in there as possible. I'm using my photo references, my sketch, and my small oil study there to the left of my head. That's a four and a half by, I believe it was 13, something around that size. Exact same proportion as the large painting. I did that small study to help me with my design and my palette. Never do I do a commission that I don't follow that policy or that way of working. The only time I wouldn't do a small study was if there was already one completed, a piece that someone saw and they would like a larger one of it. Otherwise, my plan is to always do a pencil sketch and then follow through with the small study and that small study is what my client approves and once they approve yes they like it then that seals the deal and I begin to work on the large piece and there's a strong contract in place I've developed a contract that covers all of this and I would advise if you ever do commissions that you make sure you have a contract signed and get approvals and just keep everything tightly wrapped. Now I'm starting to put some color down in the horizon and I'll be softening it into that canyon as well and you can see the canyon color is very much like the shadow colors of my cloud. Great color harmony by pulling that cloud color down into that distant canyon. Work on softening that whole bottom edge as well where the horizon and the bottom edge of the clouds meet. There's a lot of going back and forth especially if my canyon is already dry. It could have been dry that means having to re-wet some of the canyon color as well. 
You can see me softening the bottom edge of that cloud. And you really have to push and pull and get all that soft so that cloud rolls under. Now starting to bring in some blue sky. I'm just wanting to get some of this white canvas covered. And pretty intense blue sky, but I do this on purpose. I want that cloud to pop. My client's request was a big beautiful cloud over the Grand Canyon. And so I do intensify my blues. As it gets closer to the cloud and comes down to the mid area of the sky, it's not quite as dark and heavy blue as it is up in the zenith. Now we have another whole set of softening to do. All along that cloud edge. We're going to have to soften where that sky and cloud meet. And I have not brought in my big fat thick white paint yet. You can see me making headway on this. Quite a long span to get this covered. And then I will go into my fat thick paint and bring in that finished piece. So again I started with the sketch and then I went to my small oil study and then on to this piece 14 by 54 Canyon Dreams. And this piece here I'm holding it gives you a little bit more of an idea of what that actual oil study size was compared to the large canvas. And it really is a great plan, a great format, and a road map is what I would call it to do small studies ahead of time. <music> 